Alright, so here I'm going to go through the basic setup of how I set up my wings. Uh, here I have the master control feathers. And in the middle of this model here I have a, a simple feather rig that I use to duplicate over everything. Uh, the master control feathers, I generally try to keep them aligned with the world, and when I'm done, I actually hide them. Uh, this just gives more of a visual on what things are going to follow. Uh, so I've run this tool, and as you can see, each set, each uh, group has its own rigging in it. And what I do is I adjust the offset of the constraint just to kind of place them wherever they need to be. Uh, next, uh, you'll see me scaling out the feathers to make it more. Uh, I have a reference wing on my right side there, and I'm basically just going to do this for all the feathers. It's just adjusting the offset and scaling them to match where they need to be. In the settings, I also generally have the history option. Uh, I leave that as on so that I can later animate the single feather that was the source, and every other feather will follow. So I try to keep this as well in uh, kind of a clean group, so you'll notice uh, later on all I'll do is I'll actually group parts of the feathers and I'll segment them together just so I know uh, what goes where, just to kind of give me a better idea. And here's me grouping them together. So the reason I try to leave everything in the world uh, orientation is it, it simplifies the creation process. By having everything aligned with the world, it makes it so that they're less likely to pop. So this, the left side, you'll see me just basically set it up real quick. It's very straightforward. I tend to concentrate only on one rotation at a time, so all these feathers I'm adjusting in rotate Y. You can also, if you need to move the positioning from left to right between the feathers, you can actually go and change the uh, parent constraint weight. Uh, if you change that weight, you can actually move the feathers left to right to be either right on top where the control feather would be and whatnot. I didn't do it here just because I didn't feel I needed to, but if on a f some cases I've had to put them one to one where they should be with the control feather, I'll set the weight to zero on one and one to the other. So it's basically a matter of just repeating the process now and placing things where you want them. Uh, the other reason I, if you notice my hierarchy on the left here, I have a left wing group, left wing override feathers, and I'll have the same thing for the right side once I do the right side. It's to keep it, uh, you can't attach it to the rig directly or else you'll have a double movement. So you, you kind of have to make its own separate group. I tend to try and keep everything clean when I'm rigging just to add simplicity in case someone has to look over it again. And so you see me creating more groups here and this is going to be the smaller feathers so it's the same process for the smaller feathers it's rotating the uh, the constraint getting it to, to look right and you can use as many layers as you'd like if you wanted to you can make another override feather that could be used in these small ones you can really add as much detail as you really want and so yeah it's just a matter of adjusting the, the rotations Now, for the other side of this model, it was a little bit more difficult. Um, I had... I wanted to make the rig so that you can animate it without having to switch any values. So you can grab both sides at the same time, and it was mirrored in minus one on the other side. Uh, this, I noticed, caused a lot of problems with constraints in general. Uh, the way I worked around it in this case, I took the all the values and I created a manual expression that handled all the rotations of the actual model. So everything on the opposite side is in negative one and to simp and just to get it to work properly I had to write uh, my own custom script so take the body rotation, take the master controller rotation and then add whatever rotations were in the middle so feather, the feather, need not the feathers but the actual master control feathers had to follow uh, the hierarchy. I basically rebuilt the hierarchy from scratch just to avoid the this strange flipping you'll see at the end of this video. And also what's not shown in this video is me actually creating the opposite side. It's the same workflow. 
and I also wrote a script that would transfer the information from one side of the feather to the other which I will probably post in a separate video just because YouTube has a limit on the amount of time I can upload and so this is basically how I go about building this this feather rig Alright, as the video keeps going here, I'm going to start to actually adjust the other rotations to kind of bring the feathers down a bit. And so here's, you see I've placed the master control feathers in that slight angle. Even though I have them set in this angle, again, I have them oriented with the world and not the actual rig. Uh, again, this is to kind of alleviate some of the strange flipping that you get when you start to use constraints that are following other constraints and whatnot. And here's when I actually, I believe I started putting it down now. So just like, you see I go one rotation at a time and this really helps to narrow down the the amount of work you do. So I tend to place the Y first from the top view. This kind of gets me a better control of the general look of it from the top. And once that works, that's when I adjust all the other angles on it. Alright, so here I'm about to start making the override feather controls. So I'm going to start throwing together controllers that are going to kind of be able to, so that once you've posed your model, you'll be able to go in and adjust that, adjust your pose. And this is, this is good. usually I attach these to the control feathers. Uh, it's pretty good like representation of the control feathers is what these controllers are. So what I'll do is I'll set the rotation of these to kind of follow the joints on the rig where I want the, where the uh, control feathers would be following, and then I'll in my I actually have a controller hierarchy separate from the joint hierarchy of the model. So I'll basically attach each part of the each override to the wing that is going to be its kind of its master, and then I'll actually. Uh, move and orient constraint the master feathers to follow these overrides. And my laptop fan just came on so it might be making a bit of noise now. So uh, I attach the orient first and then I attach the move constraint second. Sometimes you have to use maintain offset depending on uh, if everything's zeroed out or not. So again, take the amount of time you spend doing this it will kind of make how much quality the final result will be. I have very minimal bones. I only put three joints in the wing to make the entire wing. Uh, more joints obviously will make everything look a lot smoother. And I actually have a double movement here just because I wasn't paying attention. But the double movement is easy enough to fix.